Hello, my name is Beverly Cochran David, and uh, this is my friend Harlan Warmer, and we came to see all the displays today. Uh, mine is a, uh, I wrote out a tribute to the Cochran family, who were Sunnyvale pioneers. Um, my grandparents, Welford and Mary Johnson Cochran, traveled from Louisiana to the Santa Clara Valley in 1883. Welford supervised the winery located near what is now the corner of El Camino Real and Wolf Road. He was also a master carpenter and constructed several early Sunnyvale buildings. He built the Cochran family home on Charles Street in 1907. The house still exists today, 105 years later. Mary and Welford had four children, Rilda, Elma, Edwina, and Amory. In 1906, Rilda and her baby son survived the earthquake. My dad, Amory, had visited her just a few days before. The Sunnyville Winery suffered some damage. The water tower tipped over and items in my grandmother's pantry transferred from one side of the room to the other. <laughs> Elma Cochran McGinnis was the first matron for the city jail in 1937. For 20 years, Elma served voluntarily to assist with children and women. Her husband, Art McGinnis, was responsible for putting gravel on many of Sunnyvale streets. As a boy, my father sometimes rode an Art's horse-drawn gravel wagon. Edwina Cochran Benner certainly left her mark on the city. She served on the city council and was office manager at Libby McNeil and Libby Canry for 25 years. To place one more distinguishing honor upon the family, Edwina Cochran Benner became mayor of Sunnyvale twice, and she was California's first woman mayor. Benner Intermediate School was named for her. My father, Amory Cochran, began working at Hendy Ironworks at age 14. He learned to operate every machine in the plant. During World War II, he was night superintendent. The company helped win the war by producing engines that were used on the Liberty ships. My father, Amory Corky Cochran, worked for Hendy, later Westinghouse, for 50 years. He was grand marshal of a parade there when some buildings became historic landmarks. My mother, Maxine Armstrong Cochran, taught for over 12 years, 1929 to 1941, at McKinley School. Her kindergarten class often had 45 to 50 students. She loved her work, and years later, her former students often remembered their time in her class. As you can see, the Cochran family played an important part in Sunnyvale's history. Growing up in Sunnyvale was such a pleasure for me. I'll always remember my wonderful times here. As a, as a pin of mine says, I love Sunnyvale.